Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video, let us see some good questions from transmission. What is transmission? It is the uh, transfer of power from engine to the rear wheels through various systems like for example engine, flywheel, clutch, gearbox, universal joint, propeller shaft, then differential. So that is also called final drive. So all these constitute a transmission mechanism. Okay friends. So in this video let us see some good questions about this transmission and various other connector things. First question. The purpose of transmission in an automobile is to basically it is to vary the torque at the road wheels. Okay. So torque what is torque? Torque is a tangential force responsible for moving the wheels. So the main purpose is to vary it is not very very it is misprinted vary the torque at the road wheels okay friends so let us mark this right increase of torque in a vehicle is obtained by so this is decreasing the speed why is actually the product of tn is equal to constant where t is the torque and n is the speed if the torque is to be increased then speed is to be decreased so, decrease in the speed is the correct answer. Right. Two advantages of using helical gears rather than spur gears in a transmission is basically they have low noise level and high strength. They have low noise level, helical gears and have high strength. So, low cost is not the correct reason and uh, uh, economy is also not the correct reason. Low noise is of course is covered and uh, the other one is the strength. So, because of the high strength and low noise, the helical gears are used in transmission compared to spur gears. Next question friends. By using a synchronizing device, the two involved different gears have their speeds. Actually, the purpose of this synchronizing device, synchronizer, is to equalize the speed. So, this is neither increased nor reduced nor unequalized unequalized is only given to confuse you so equalized is the correct answer next which one of the following gearbox types uses friction cones to equalize the speed of the gears this is basically synchro mesh gears synchro mesh gearbox is the gearbox which is going to use uh, what you call uh, friction cones to equalize the speed of the gears before engagement for the smooth engagement actually if the gears are engaged roughly suddenly it is going to lead to vibration and noise and maybe sometimes failure also failure of the gear teeth so to avoid all those things we are using a friction cones the set uh, a friction cone to equalize the speed of the gears in only synchro mesh go gear uh, gearbox and this is going to avoid the declutching. So, declutching uh, uh, is observed in your what you call second one. First one is sliding mesh gearbox, second one is the constant mesh gearbox. In the constant mesh, mesh gearbox, we are going to use what is known as declutching. Okay, so that is to avoid that synchro mesh gear is used. Your answer is D. When small gear drives. A large gear in gearbox of an automobile the result is actually it is going to increase the torque because large gear a large gear rotates at small speed because dn is equal to constant product of diameter and the speed is equal to constant so if d is more n will be less if n is less because product of tn is equal to constant torque into speed is constant if n is more the t has to be less or vice versa whatever it is so here the answer is increase the torque because larger gear rotates rotates at smaller speed so it will increase the torque next operating of double declutching is necessary for changing lower gear to so what is the reason for this it is either c or d probably right increase the speed of lay shaft and increase the speed of the main shaft so there are in any gearbox we have three shafts one is a clutch shaft second one is the lay shaft third one is the main shaft so the gears on the lay shaft are connected uh, to the gears on the main shaft so while lay shaft gears are fixed the gears on the main shaft are movable through a dog clutch or probably even a synchronizer so the answer is 
C and D. Let us mark. In a simple planetary gear set, the output member used in order to increase torque is always, this is actually your planetary ca planet carrier, planet carrier is the gear uh, used to increase the torque. This is only planet carrier. There actually, there are three gears, ring gear, sun gear and planet carrier and planet carrier is used to increase the torque. So, planet carrier is the correct answer. In the transmission, the reverse idler gear always meshes with, this is going to mesh with counter shaft reverse gear, counter shaft reverse gear. What is the main purpose of this? The idler gear, the purpose of idler gear is to reverse the direction of the rotation of the gears. So, this is used for taking or moving your vehicle in the reverse direction, reverse idler. So, it is not going to change the speed, but only will change the direction. That is the purpose of an idler. So, it is counter shaft reverse gear. Next, the automatic transmission requires use of the following control pedals. This is going to use this is going to use let us see friends uh, the question let us read it once again. The question is something like this. The automatic transmission requires use of the following control pedals. This is going to use acceleration and brake pedals. Acceleration and brake pedals. First one is not printed correctly, friends. So, the first option is actually it is your acceleration and clutch pedals. Actually, acceleration and brake pedals are used for the purpose. A typical overdrive gear ratio is, this is your typical gear drive ratio, over gear drive, overdrive ratio, overdrive, overdrive gear ratio is 0.8 is to 1, it is less than fraction. For underdrive, I think it is more than 1. The purpose of transmission in an automobile is to actually vary, all these things are achieved to vary the speed of turn automobile, to vary the torque at the road wheels to vary the propulsion power of automobile. So, all of these is the correct answer. Friends, uh, in this type of examination, especially uh, I have checked your APPSC and DSPSC examinations uh, for your automobile engineering. So, if any D bit is given like all of the above, probably sometimes it is not a rule actually of course, but definitely most of the times if all of them is given, please choose that as the correct answer and before actually selecting D also. You have to think a bit and if you feel that more than two answers seem to be correct, choose the option D. So, here the option is D. Following is the data for transmission uh, system of gearbox reduction ratios. First gear 4.3 is to 1, second gear 3 is to 1, third gear 2.7 1 is to 1 and fourth gear 1 is to 1. Final drive direction reduction is 5 is to 1. The overall reduction when the vehicle is driven in second gear is this is simply the product of this is simply the product of 3 into 5. What is 3 here? It is the second gear ratio and 5 is the final uh, reduction, drive reduction. If you multiply that, you are going to get gearbox reduction ratio. So, gearbox reduction ratio is equal to that is overall reduction when the vehicle is driven in the second gear is equal to 3 into 5 that is 15. D is the correct answer. Next point friends, next question the advantage of using helical gears rather than the spur gears in a transmission system are once again same bit is repeated, it is noise reduction, transfer of power between non parallel shafts and high strength output. These are the main reasons, but we can choose the Third option is the correct one, high strength and low noise level. Of course, it is repeated, but it was given in the MPSC R2 examination. That is why probably it is repeated, high strength and low noise level. Next, free wheel unit is mounted between, this is always mounted between gearbox and propeller shaft, gearbox and propeller shaft. Free wheel unit is always used or mounted between gearbox and propeller shaft, that is your correct answer. Okay friends, in this video we have 
discuss some good questions or important questions or crucial questions from your automobile engineering second paper optional paper from the point of your TSPC examination a stand motor vehicle inspector in the next video we are going to meet with some more good questions all the best